and Pradhan Mishra, your science teacher. As you know that in previous class we finished our third chapter of chemistry, fiber to fabric. So now we have to do exercises. So dear students, open your book of science and come to the page number 39. So let's start doing exercises. So let's start the exercises. Question A is that type of question is MCQ type of questions in which several options are given. We have to choose one of them which is our answer. So question 1 is this animal does not give food. We have to choose cow because all of these animals option A, B and D give us wool. But cow does not give us wool. Next question is. This is two humped camel found in Siberia. So answer will be bacterium because this question asked about the special type of camel. So bacterium is a special type of camel which is two humped and found in Siberia. So moving on we have new question. Next question is searing usually occurs in. So answer will be spring. Searing Usually occurs in spring. So next question is fourth. The larvae of silk worms are also called. The answer will be caterpillars. Why? Because caterpillars are also called larvae and larvae also called caterpillars. So next question is a common health hazard in wool production is. So answer will be anthrax because anthrax is only common health hazard. So. Moving on, we have new type of question in which we have to fill the blanks with appropriate answer. So, first question is, dash wool is obtained from the angora goat. So, the uh, special type of wool. So, answer will be mohair because mohair is a wool which is obtained from angora goat. The second question is, the process of sorting and grouping wool is called dash. So answer will be grading because grading is a process of sorting and grouping wool. Next, third number questions asked about the wool is packed into dash and sent to the mills. So it is understood, understood that the answer will be bells because the bells, the wool is packed into bells and then sent it to the mills. So next question is the four stages in the life cycle of silk moth are egg, larva, dash and adult. So answer will be pupa. The third stage is it's pupa. So the next question different kinds of dash give us different varieties of silk. So answer will be silk moth because different kinds of silk moth give us different varieties of silk. So moving on next question is to sir Moga and Das are three varieties of silk. So answer will be Kosa. Why? Because mulberry is not answer because mulberry is a type of leaves on which silk moth feeds. Okay. Moving on. New type of question that is match the following. We have to match with their we have to match the questions with the options. So first question is Merino. Answer will be best quartal means C. So option C. Next is wool. We have to match wool with option E. Why? Because wool is a primary option from C. Third is Kashmiri. So Kashmiri is matched with obtained from goat hair. Next is fourth mulberry leaves. So mulberry leaves is attached with matched with the option B. Food of silkworm mulberry leaves is that type of leaves on which silkworms feeds. So next and the last question of master following is sericulture. So sericulture is the rearing of silkworms. So answer will be D. So moving on new type of questions we have that is name the following means we have to give name to the following sentence. So first question asked about the material made from fibers and used to make cloths is called fabric. Fabric is that material which is which is made from fibers and used to make cloths. So next animal fiber that is obtained from the fur of sheep, camel, goat and rabbit. 
so that is volvul is an animal fiber which is obtained from the fur of sheep camel goat and rabbit the next question is the process of superficial removal of hair from the coat of an animal so answer will be shearing because shearing is the process of superficial removal of hair from the coat of an animal next question is the third stage in the life cycle of a silkworm is pupa and the fifth and the last question of name the following is rearing of silk worm for the silk, silk production is called sericulture answer will be sericulture because sericulture is a process of rearing of silk worms for silk production so complete it okay guys this is our exercise but the rest question that means i am talking about the subjective question the subjective questions are provided in pdf means all the subjective question answer are available in pdf 